Okay, y'all. It's been a little while since my last video. Got good response from my last video. That was before I welded the top plate on. Put legs on it. Welded the four inch exhaust off the back of it. Just brought it outside for the first time and fired it up a little while ago. It's burning really good. Uh, at first it started to smoke a little bit out the stack like most of them do when you first start them up. But it's gone smokeless. Quite a while ago actually. It's been burning about half hour, maybe a minute. Maybe 45 minutes. If I did anything wrong, I gave it too much air from the intake point of view. Uh, if I open like this bottom feed, if I open the bottom feed, it'll start smoking out the top. As you can see, that plate's pretty hot. So, I'll get my glove, put it back on. smoke pretty good as you can see so and that's not a problem I can make that door shut that's that's not a problem at all one of the things I did and it was to clean the ashes out of it was I drilled a bunch of holes up underneath uh, if I take this off you probably see it you see the holes that I drilled on the bottom bunch of three ace holes and it goes from like right here all the way to the base of the tank looks like right now it's burning okay without plugging off this air intake uh, but you don't hurt it to plug it off One of the other things, of course, I put legs on it, and like I said in my other video, I like three legs. It makes it stand more sturdy than tilting and teetering on four legs. So there's two there, and there's one over here. This shutoff valve is just to plug the hole, and back of that is vermiculite. I'm going to get a plug and put in there. And take that valve off that's no problem the seam that I talked about in my other video along here it's not leaking at all uh, the draft is good enough to where it's not leaking in the least I didn't think it would if it get a good draft going I didn't think it would do that so then it and it didn't another thing I found out the half inch plate that I installed on the top I had a bunch of holes in it. It was a spacer plate for a motor between a motor and transmission. I plugged the hole in the center and the four around the center, but I didn't plug the ones around the outside of the tank. And those go right into the chamber. There's no smoke comes out of them. Uh, the draft pulls it down through. You can give me ideas. I don't know if that hurts or helps. It may give it a secondary burn to help burn the gases a little bit more. I don't know. All I know is it's burning clean, really clean, if the draft is right. And like any other stove, you got to play with the drafts. I burnt wood for six years up in Michigan when I lived there. I'm in Georgia now. And the stove I had was a sealed stove that was fire brick lined. And it took me a while to figure it out. If you open the door too quick, it'd smoke out, out of that. Uh, you gotta learn your stove. 
uh, just like any other. There's a few things I'm going to do to it, but not a lot. It's putting out great heat. Uh, it's heating my coffee pretty well. I mean, from Michigan, I drink a lot of coffee. So, keeps my hot coffee nice and hot. So that's the follow-up video. It's not painted. I want to paint it yet. I thought I'd burn off a lot of the glue and such around it, possibly. Looks like it's starting to spit a little snow here. Or rain. <laughs> but uh, it's burning, burning well. Well, the rain's hitting it. The snow's hitting it. And... Kind of dance around on the top of that until it evaporates. That's kind of neat. You can see that or not. But I didn't expect snow. I didn't think it was gonna, but it is. Very pleased with my stove. Very pleased. Puts out a lot of heat. Uh, like I said, it's about 34 degrees here, I think. And right here is a good uh, radius of it that uh, is warm. If I put that inside my garage, which I don't have any room in my garage, if I put that inside my garage, it would heat it up in no time. The object, of course, is to put it in that left window if something happens and the power goes out. Power goes out, my house is 100% electric, so, Power goes out, I can put a board with a hole in the middle of it. I have a plate that uh, will insulate it to where it won't get the board hot. Put that in my living room. That's my living room on the other side of that wall. And this will heat my house. Just a little bit of wood from the yard. Or the wood I used here is wood did it from a piece of furniture that I was throwing away, busted it up. And one thing about it, it started when I first put it in there, the varnish started uh, to melt. I think it was a varnish or urethane, whatever. It started to melt and uh, started to smoke out the top. But I think part of that was I didn't have the drafts right. I didn't shut off a lot of the air that needed to be shut off. As you can see, Probably here. It's burning really well. The next video I do, I'll probably clean the tank up, paint the whole unit. A friend of mine, I thought I'd let him use it and put it in his garage to heat his garage temporarily just to see how it worked longer term. I think it's going to work fine. Um, if you don't recall in my last video, I, I told you that this, this seam on the bottom, the vermiculite is a little bit higher than that. That whole bottom has vermiculite in it. What I was going to do with the original in the last video was to take um, hardy, hardy plank and insulate the riser tube I didn't do that I didn't do that I may but I didn't and I, I gotta believe that it'll be fine I don't know that but and it might burn better if I did insulate it I may try it but I have no problem with it the way it's burning it's burning great I weld these doors on it yeah. hinges on these doors where I can shut them Put one on the top, and those holes that are in the bottom, down in there, I think I'm going to make a slider plate that will slide along the bottom, along the bottom, that I can push in or pull out and give it more air or less air. But, as you can see, it's burning great. Okay, thanks for your response to my other video. It's 16,000 views, I believe, on it. 
I didn't expect that, but uh, if you're interested in building a stove like this, this is really my first attempt, but I learned a lot off YouTube. Made a big difference in just trying something. I, I learned from other people's mistakes and uh, looks like put it to good use. My stove is working great. Got another tank that uh, will be my next stove. Stay tuned. This is Dollar Bill from Stilson Solutions. Signing off. Good night.